a non-fired mel melanistic Darth Maul line. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. Man, he's uh... <laughs> not too happy right now. Let's That's see. so awesome. And I will show you another one. Yeah, man. These are all Darth Maul lines. This man, one's my favorite. This is cool oh, stuff. Like in every area, we uh, see cool this stuff. Seriously, bold colors. So this is also another, again, on fire. They go jet black at night. Right now, he's daytime colors. Oh, just shedding. Whee! Man, that's another so one. Cool. So the Darth Maul is your own creation of creation. It's a GT, um, non-locale specific mix, just bred for color. Here's another one. Wow, that one's got decent nice saturation. Let's see what else we have. This is the Leechy guy. Here's another really nice color. That's just a color mix. It's actually the Holy Shirt line. Holy Shirt. My mom was here and I couldn't say the <laughs> S word when it hatched. <laughs> There's that one and then this is another Holy Shirt line. And heavy pink. This one came from a gecko that had like kind of swirls on it rather than bars and the person named the gecko swirl so this is just babies from I didn't name it they named it that's so cool just real heavy pink and I can actually show you the parents of that line which I think the mother still has the swirly pattern So that's one of the mothers, and you can see more of a, the mother had, had swirls that went around. This is a baby from her, but you can kind of see there's more of a, a line going there rather yeah, yeah. than just little bars, you know. So cool. And there's her mate. Wow. So these are the ones that produced that last baby I showed you. Yeah. So cool. Nails. Darth Maul parents. You just see tons and tons so of really Darth awesome Maul animals. Two pair. That's oh, wow. Darth Maul's first baby that I kept back. That's cool. And obviously he gets jet black. He's paired with something that's not related to this line, but she was put in because she had lots of pink bars. She's mm -hmm. fired down. So she's not showing a lot of pink, but they produced the babies that you saw over there. Wow. So she's not quite as cool as him. The red and black is real cool. Yeah, it's neat. <laughs> when I first saw it, I was, I was sold. This is the original nasty gecko that started it all. Hopefully he's fired because he's impressive when he's fired. He's also not so friendly. He sees me coming. He's not so friendly. They're all friendly. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is Darth Maul. This is the one that kind of started it all. And he's wow. GT size, for sure. But uh, obviously a lot of pattern for a GT. So, but man, massive. He's a massive, man. he's a massive boy. Thank God he didn't it's try awesome. to me. <laughs> What's also impressive is that you have so much cork bark. <laughs> <laughs> they have to, they need territory. Yeah, yeah. This guy is a year and a half, or a year and he's about seven months now. And he is pushing 12 and a half inches. It's pretty good. At a year and a half. And that's the sea bike hogus. They're all just so impressive. Like a gecko that size. Like I'm that waiting age. for you to pull one out, and I'm like, oh, that's right. No, <laughs> they're all awesome. These are all babies from the same pair. Here. That's a real 
little one the guy and then this is from the same pair and you're saying it's good to nice keep them like kind of close and humid they really enjoy to be humid close and humid there's another one I know one of them's real dark there's another one but you can see on these guys the tail is just super long that comes from the GTC it's funny you're like blowing through these and we're like man these are just all of them are <laughs> just super impressive <laughs> what else is cool let me see This is another line of GT. Um, these animals came from the Kogus area. Really cool blotched. Not not from any of the Kogus lines, but that's awesome. Yeah. yeah similar, I love the dark ones. Kogus look. It's actually uh, yeah. one of my Darth Maul line. This is Generation Two. And I will show you a sibling that didn't turn out quite as dark, but has lots of pink. It's really cool shed you got back there too. Real nice saturation on this one. This is also from the Darth Maul Generation 2 line. Man, that's so cool. Leeches are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so we're here at Lipa Leeches. Uh, Steve was generous enough to let us come check out his collection. And man, does he have some cool stuff? So we got some uh, caiman lizards here. Oh man, see the one over here? That super red snout. There's a pear in here, and they're gorgeous. So uh, these guys are a little ornery, so we were told just to look, don't touch with this one. <laughs> but they're gorgeous lizards. And it's cool because in a lot of his cages, not only does he have a lot of naturalistic hides, but he like, like if you, I don't know, can you see back in the corner there, there's like a toke gecko hanging on the back wall. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we're doing that. Hi. Sweet. And I'll tell you what, this is some of the coolest animals you ever see. Sun gazers are like the ultimate animal. For us here at RMB Reptiles, for sure, we'd love to get some of these guys. It's coming out right now. Uh, so beautiful. Such a cool animal. You really don't even get the opportunity to see these things like in person, ever. They're so rare in the United States. So uh, this is a real treat. And he has a few of them. It's apparent they can be kept communally. So... Man, what a beautiful animal. They look like mini dragons. When we opened the glass, though, they all ran, so trying to stay pretty still. Scooted into their dens, but man, what a cool animal. Cataphractus. I don't know how to pronounce the first part. O Ouroboreus or something? Yeah. Cataphractus. Man, they're so cool. They're uh, mini sun gazers, pretty much. Spike tails, spikes everywhere, little dragons. I love them. Super cool. Don't get to see these often either. Lace monitor, bell phase. Beautiful animal. Unbelievable. Real skittish though, so he had him out, or had her out a little bit ago, and um, we just, she will run around and. Uh, Look at the intelligence in that face, man. She's just on you. What are you doing? What are you looking at? What's going on? <laughs> so cool. It. So what is the species name again? This is Diploglossus lessonae, Brazilian gallo wasp. Man, look at that orange. 